Greetings folks, this is the Reptile Dragon twin motor plank. Interesting looking plane, let's have a look. Nicely packaged I have to say, really sturdy box, uh, double thickness uh, cardboard which is absolutely essential for shipping from China these days. And it's nicely uh, bubble wrapped up too. Okay, it's all out now, there's the centre pod there. Bat, uh, magnet held hatches there. I think we have some oh, wing, uh, some motor nacelles there maybe. Do they go underneath? Yeah, they probably go underneath. There's the tail section there. Uh, vertical fin. It's uh, nice foam. It's uh, more towards the EPP end of the flexibility or the, the, the um, toughness. Uh, that's going to be nice and tough, I think. They're the sections with the motors on them already mounted. Motors are 2205 CA 2300 KV. Nice little uh, mini quad style motors. And just look at that airfoil. That is a very thick airfoil so it's going to be good for uh, flying slow and it is I can't even bend this wing. This is going to be super tough. Nice plywood surrounds for the aileron servos, I like that. <clears throat> and some, um, blah, some nuts in there to screw into. Servos there, they are J, JX servos, I think they are. JX servos. Don't know much about them. 9.45 uh, gram servos. There's the wiring diagram there and sort of assembly diagram. Cool stickers, I like the dragon motive. That's all looking very nice indeed. Yeah, my first impression it is, it, that is that it is very, very tough. A serious model, I think. Some Velcro straps, they look good. Little uh, IS, that'll be the stabilizer connection lead. XD60 extension. That looks like the stabiliser board there. ESCs, two 30 amp fly colour ESCs they look like. Four props, so we've got two spare, they're those sort of uh, bullnose ones. Uh, transmitter covers and things like that I think. Control horns and push rods. Little screws, a little bit of uh, Velcro there. Good, time to put it together. I said before these would be the motor nacelles. They're not actually. They're uh, little pods for mounting a, an FPV camera under the wing and you have a few different mounting positions that you can screw them onto through screw holes going through here. So that's a nice touch. I thought I could have pulled this cover off actually to get access in there but it it's already seems to be glued in so it looks like we'll have to be poking wires down through there. But it's a nice big wide channel so that should be fine. So it, we have the main big spar here that goes just goes straight through uh, in there and then we have some shorter tubes that just fit in here through into the plywood brace inside and then there's another uh, tube that goes inside that. Then the motor pod slides on. Thus. Then the wing slides on to that, like that, and now we have little clamps in here that tighten up on the spar and that's all you need to mount the wing, that is excellent, I love that system, with a 2mm hex wrench. The tail fin slots into two slots like that and would just glue in. Got a nice bend on the tail. Uh, and then the tail uh, has bolt holes in here. And then we get these little bolts. Two 
two of them on each side which secure it in here. But of course there's got to be a catch, the bolts have to pass through two layers of plywood and into the uh, plastic bolt, the nuts in there and of course they're not long enough. So I'll need to find some longer bolts, that's a bit of a dumb mistake. So they've supplied us with 5mm bolts, uh, I've found some 10mm bolts and they do the job. Yeah, that's snugging up nice and tight. We have the little snap fit uh, control horns. I probably wouldn't trust them by themselves for a serious model like this, so I'll use them, but uh, I'm going to surround it with glue to make sure it's not going to come out. Servos have a nice little uh, plywood surround to put them in, easy to poke the servo cable through, sits down in there like that and we have a nice carbon fibre hatch cover which screws into plywood. Servos are only plastic gear, only 9 gram plastic gear servos, I think I'd like to change them for metal gear servos eventually but I'll go with what's supplied to start off with. You may need to drill out the holes uh, on the control hole, on the uh, servo arm a little bit. And you will definitely need to drill out the uh, control horn to fit the linkage adjuster through. Alright, now we can put the little uh, servo cover on. Let's have a look at the, how the stabiliser gets connected up. Uh, got a very good circuit diagram here. here. Servo 1 goes to those three pins, servo 2 goes to these three pins. Uh, battery negative and positive on those two pads. ESC negative and positive on those two pads. The two ESCs are connected together. Signal wire from the ESC goes straight to your receiver so you're directly controlling that with the transmitter. On your receiver you have channel 1 as aileron and channel 2 as elevator. No mixing in, in your transmitter which is always the way when you're using a flight control board or a uh, stabiliser. You don't have any mixing in the transmitter, you just have 100% aileron and 100% elevator and the stabiliser board takes care of the aileron mixing. A lot of people always make that mistake. No delta mixing in the transmitter leave it up to the flight control board and it has two little uh, solder pads here where you can switch between uh, delta mixing or v-tail mixing and it's already connected so this board is set to delta mixing. From the receiver aileron on channel 1 that connect gets connected into this pin here, elevator on channel 2 that gets connected to that pin there, nothing on that pin there and then we have the auxiliary channel or the mode switching channel signal uh, positive and negative there. We also have uh, some onboard BECs, we have a 5 volts uh, out there and a 9 volts out there which would be for your uh, FPV transmitter and uh, camera if you want to. Connecting up the ESC now uh, and I've just soldered on uh, an XT60 onto the both of the ESCs the intention is to uh, solder the ESCs directly onto the uh, flight control board but my policy is always to maiden the plane without any stabiliser or flight control board so you can trim it, get it flying properly before you have the complications of, of working out how to connect it up to the stabiliser board. So ESC just tucks in there like that and plate just screws on with the little screws 
And coming through here, here's the other end of the ESC power cables. They'll just get connected together with a wire power lead, like that. The signal wires from the ESC, so both of these ESCs will be providing 5 volts via their onboard BEC, so I'm removing the uh, red cable off one of them, so we only have one BEC working, otherwise they might fight with each other if they're switching BECs. I think linear BECs are okay connected together, but uh, not switching BECs. And again, that will go into a Y lead. If you wanted differential thrust, then you'd keep these separate in separate channels straight into the receiver, but uh, we're not going to be messing with differential thrust with this one. So power and ESC. Uh, we have uh, provision for an FPV camera in the nose or a GoPro 5, 6 or 7 will fit in there. Take the foam blank out uh, and you can pop the uh, GoPro straight in there. Uh, so I'll put a, a Runcam 5 or a Mobius in the nose somehow. Just make up a little foam caddy for it. Now all I have to do is glue the tail on. It uh, would lend itself to actually having a servo operated rudder. I don't know how well they work with a plank, but that looks like it's big enough and far enough back to actually have good effect. So I may uh, do that in the future, but for the moment I'm just going to glue it on. Um, I'll just use Yuhu Pore contact glue. So it's pretty much all together now. Uh, I have a 3004S battery sitting right about there, pretty much as far forward as I can. I could move it back a little bit more if I had a camera in the nose, and that's balanced at the recommended uh, marks, which is about, I think it's 48 millimetres back from the leading edge. Just over 1100 grams, 1110, 1111 almost. We've got the counter rotating props spinning in like that. It's a chunky solid plank. Uh, looks like it's going to be very durable. All I have to do is put some stickers on and we're ready to go out for a fly and that will come in the very next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the Maiden.